Hello everyone, Eldrick here and welcome back to Vampire. In the last video we made it to Pembroke Hospital and we arrived in our new room. And while we are waiting I just want to give a shout out to Chase Mewling and Dionysius Pony. They comment and watch nearly all the videos I have up. I will leave links to their pages down below. And I also want to say thank you to everybody else who may not uh, comment or subscribe and whatnot. I do appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my stuff and uh, any future stuff that I, I may put out. So uh, let's get ready to explore some of this hospital now. Crafting, you first need to analyze the components you found to unlock new recipes. Click on the to analyze components. Blood sample of William Bishop. Analyze to view blueprints. Okay. Light regeneration serum. Regenerate 300 health points instantly, then 150 health points over. 15 seconds. We need one glass vial, one watery, sturdy blood sample, two ferrous tartrite, and it looks like two sodium, however you say that, solution, hypochlorite solution. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. I have so much time. What do we have here? A plant? The flower's dying. It needs water. Well... Article on Ekans. It is a rare opportunity and almost a privilege to approach a vampire to observe their most intriguing physical and psychological traits with a scientific and rational eye. Here are some of the most fascinating, fascinating abilities I've personally observed over the last 10 years while interviewing a few vampires or Ekan as they prefer to call themselves. Supernatural speed. A vampire can act and move like a mortal in all his actions, mm. but the trained eye will spot that they have the keenest senses and can react quicker than any mortal. On a few occasions, alarm, surprise, necessity to flee, I've seen a vampire move so quickly it is almost as if he had vanished just to reappear somewhere else. The human eye cannot follow their movements when they act so quickly, but it is not a teleport or dematerialization. It is only a supernatural speed. For me, it is a cat-like attribute, which allows them to run, dodge, or jump longer and faster than us. I also noticed that such speed seems to exhaust them, and that they are bound to physical limitations. Mesmerism. One of the most powerful abilities a vampire can deploy is the capacity to force a mortal to obey them. I call this trait mesmerism, but it has nothing to do with the mortal ability to alter a subject's mental state. A vampire can bend a mortal to their will, and they can even break a mind. A vampire I interviewed even told me the more a subject tries to resist, the more permanent the damage will be, as if the vampire could literally fracture their target's psyche. The same vampire explained to me that this ability required time to master, and that the result could vary widely from one subject to another. Implant a false memory, erase a painful one, the possibilities are endless and frightening. Blood awareness. This may be the most catastrophic ability of all. 
concerning vampires since it is the cause of so many tragedies for them and us. Vampires crave. Vampires crave for blood. They must use their will to restrain themselves from frenziedly drinking every drop of blood they can see. They need blood to function and to express their full supernatural traits. What the hell? A famished vampire can be very weak, even if he cannot die of hunger or thirst. This urge, this need for blood may explain why a vampire is so aroused by it. A vampire confessed to me that blood could sometimes blind him since its smell and attractiveness can be so strong. When he focuses, a vampire can almost see blood all around them, inside warm bodies, through walls, on a supposedly clean weapon, etc. The same vampire even told me that he can see if a mortal has clean blood or is ill, and that in some cases he can even sense diseases, infected clothes, or even items in a room. If this is true, it could have so many medical application, applications, it almost beggars belief. Okay, so we got some tin glass vials. The flower's dying. It needs water. Let's see, is there anything else around here that we can do? Dragon Bane. Three hundred and thirty damage. Two hundred damage. Yeah, I don't think we want to fool with the common machete. <laughs> Looks like it's going to be fairly weak. Hey, look at my nifty little outfit here. Sweet. Dr. Swansea's message. Dear Jonathan, I asked Nurse Crane to secure an office for you on the second floor. Please forgive the austere decoration. But Pembroke Hospital is not exactly the Ritz. Sorry to let you discover your office alone, but I need to sleep a little before going back to work. I'm just a mere mortal, after all. I also gave orders to let you rest, and for the staff to never enter your room. You will be able to sleep all day without being disturbed, and work at night without raising any suspicion. 
I'm afraid the place is quite messy, but you'll be able to conduct your experiments here at your own pace. You'll also notice there is an open window with a scaffolding that will allow you to enter or exit the hospital without being noticed. Good thinking. I imagine how awfully new and disturbing this all must be for you. Believe me, I have studied enough of your species to understand what you must now be facing and feeling. Be assured, I'll do whatever I can to help you in this ordeal. Know that you're not completely alone facing it. I'm glad I met you. These dark times we are all presently facing. I hope our future collaboration will yield great results. Welcome to Pembroke, my esteemed colleague. We shall talk soon. Yours sincerely, Edgar Griffith Swansea. P.S. I left a copy of some of my notes concerning what I've discovered about Ekin in the last few years, which we've already read. Feel free to read about it if you need some guidance, as long as you don't use this knowledge to take advantage of me. Ha ha. How oh, cool we can see all these people from in here. Alrighty then, let's rest. Okay, so it looks like we have 195 XP. I don't think we're going to be able to upgrade anything though. Let's rest. Oh, shit, that said reset. <laughs> Not rest. Okay. Confirm. If I'm to stay here until my research is complete. I'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals. Chapter 2, Night blood? Shift. Help the Pembroke Hospital to cope with the epidemic. Alright everyone, I know that was a short video, but uh, it was a lot of reading. Um, we will pick up here and actually exit the room. Well, let's answer the door. I'm not one to make wait, Doctor. I've patients to attend. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned moor behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Alright, so in the next video, everyone, we will adventure to the old morgue. The flower's dying. It needs water. Well, there's water right there. <laughs>
Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed, take care, keep gaming, have fun, and I will see you guys next time for some more Vampire as we venture to the morgue. Bye bye.